Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party video. In today's video, thanks to the team over at ShowZ, we're taking a look at Fans Toys FT-51 Jump, aka Skull Cruncher. Uh, oh. Goes without saying that the artwork for these pieces are absolutely sublime. Got Skull Cruncher there in his bot and crocodile mode. Looks absolutely superb, doesn't it? Quick look around the back of the box. Quick little bio there. We've got a very kind of stoic pose with his comrades. And we've got a little, ah, I could sit in the head. Really been looking forward to this one. I'm loving what fans toys are doing at the moment. Just something about this kind of trio of headmasters and it's been a kind of a long time coming really excited for them so let's uh take a look at skull crunch himself oh, i had a insignia on here and again because it's this kind of metal uh, painted up metal it's kind of got this uh, really smooth kind of sheen to it i'm actually having to use my water decals i've got those ready and set to go the normal stickers they were literally just uh, starting to peel after a little while it was just starting to slide off he looks absolutely sensational the best sculpt of the three in my opinion uh, before we actually look at that sculpt in detail let's take a look at the accessories we get a gun Pretty much exactly what you would expect and a large crocodile sword not to be confused with crocodile shoes now i really am showing my age gorgeous piece and here we have him all posed up beautifully on a pedestal as he should be colors are absolutely sublime the green and the purpley pink contrast that is done spot on in my opinion legs are nicely closed up at the back we've got that huge crocodile head just sitting down but it does cover up his backpack so as we rotate we can see that it's really kind of trim and looks as is i mean this is pretty darn close to his sunbow counterpart. Can't really grumble at all. Adore that head sculpt as well. They've done a sensational job. Here he is with his brother in arms. Uh, definitely the nicest. I still think kind of mind wipe is the weaker of the three. Something just doesn't kind of connect with me as much on him, albeit having kind of uh, straightened up his arms there, have I? But I don't know. Skull Cruncher definitely stands out to me as the more animation accurate, I think. And it's just something very robust and, I don't know, kind of playful about him. I'm not afraid to put him in some cracking poses to mess around with him and just fiddle with him. Whereas uh, Mind Wipe, you know, and Weird Wolf, there's something a little bit more lackluster about them. They don't have that playability factor, I don't think. And just because he lives on my desk. Here he is with TE01 Optimus Prime as well. That's a really good scale for a masterpiece figure. Now, in the G1 American continuity, this little guy here, I believe, was the Nebulon Grax that lived as part of the hive. Come on, oh, how you going? This is stiff paint on here. There we go, and just pop those. Out, there we go. Out, I don't have any nails. So, but I mean, that's a pretty decent sculpt for somebody this small. Got those uh, ball mounted feet there, got bends on those knees so we get a kind of dynamic look to him uh, head i believe 
is static. It's just so tight, I don't want to force it, but we do have ball mounts on both those shoulders. There we go. There is our headmaster articulation. Up, down, left and right. We do get the tech spec, albeit it is fixed in that position. Shoulders, out to the side on friction, around on a friction joint as well, just a ball socket in there. There is no butterfly joint, it's just that solid ball. There's upper bicep rotation, we have two bends and a slide on the elbows. Rotation on the wrist, we do have articulated fingers at one, two points, and we do have a ball mounted thumb. There is no wrist pivot, just rotation. We have waist rotation on a lovely ratchet. There is no abdominal crunch. Hip skirts to the front and side allow for motion this far forward on a ratcheted leg. This far back, very heavy leg. Uh, ratchet seems to be withholding though. Uh, friction joint coming out again, pretty stiff. Does the job, upper thigh rotation in there. Single bend on that knee, albeit a rather nice deep bend. And coming down to the feet, we do have up and down motion there. And we have some pivoting left and right. We don't have any left to right rotation on those feet. As gorgeous as his bot mode looks, I will get him transformed up because he actually spent a majority of his time in the cartoon in his crocodile mode. So head off. Uh, you want to just bring this section here down. This piece here is going to come out. Ah, there we go. Like so. The head can be brought up. This section can come up and out and that's going to sit on those shoulder panels like so this thing comes up and tabs in securing into place come around to these fists uh, these panels here are going to open up like I say make sure that your fists are compressed and facing palm upwards they then flip over like so and that's going to lock and close back off tabbing into the hand these can then come up this is going to rotate around and then push and compress in to the arm like so. Do that with both sides. His waist rotates around. His legs are going to split down like so. And these are going to rotate. Like so, so that they're facing upright. These panels come untabbed. And this closes off into a single piece. So again on this side, close that tab off, bring that up and close that into a single piece. Bend this section up. This is then going to uh, come down like so. That allows this piece here to come down. This rotates down at a 90 degree angle like so, allowing for this piece here to pull, like so, and rotate. This is then going to come all the way back round, slide it back on itself again, and that's going to push and uh, just tab in on that side, and then slide that back. This piece here is going to flip like this and rotate like this straighten off this panel there we go this piece here 
comes down. Power up and extends like so. And we can open up this piece here. It's going to come up and it folds back over on itself like so. It comes up out of the way there. This one opens. So you've got all of this space around the knee. This squares up, allowing this piece here to come back over, bring this panel up. And these pieces here need to flip and rotate. And you can then see that this leg panel is going to slide inwards into that void we've created. Really nicely kind of goes in there actually. That's surprisingly smooth and uh, straightforward. Can then close off these leg panels like so and like so and that's actually uh, huh, that's very satisfying actually and that comes up and sits on like so uh, we we'll do the same with this leg into that void into the unknown. There we go. There we go. These push, secure, and tab in together. Locating, there we go, along that spine. This can then come back down and tab in. See, now they come around and he's going to flip out and out. Uh, come around to the tail. This is going to extend like so. These are going to flip outwards and outwards. It's going to rotate all the way around like so. These can then come down. It's then going to turn 180 and we've got these latches just inside the final part of this tail section. So there and there. Go on. Oh. Pop those in and we are going to close this all back off. wonderfully and here we have him fully transformed up into his crocodile mode got that big chunky head that nice rigid back and he's got that gorgeous long sweeping tail the paint apps are sublime it looks gorgeous it's almost kind of a pearlescent paint scheme that they've gone with really loving how he looks definitely my favorite of the three in both modes now i feel I think this one's probably the strongest of the alt modes. Yes, it doesn't overly look like a real crocodile, does it? But it looks very much like his animation counterpart. And that's exactly what I want from these fans toys figures. That animation style accuracy. Absolutely adore him. And of course, homage to 
those diaclone days we do have a little pilot section there with control units we can put our headmasters in as well do you remember when you used to, be able to do that with the dinobots as well my original dinobot uh, used to get little little kind of diaclone pilots you sort of sit in there <sighs> look at that love the fact that we can actually move the head up down left and right as well should we put our pilot in there yeah let's do that let's slide him in and uh, just undo his hands That is absolutely superb. Uh, I've got the uh, Cerebros coming from Shozi as well. Honestly, can't wait to get a hold of him. Uh, would love to be able to get their Fort Max as well. We'll see how much that comes up as, won't we? I mean, it's got to be at least like £1,200, isn't it? Um, so we, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be an expensive figure, but my goodness me, would that be amazing? Same with the Metroplex that's been floating around. Uh, it's um, I originally thought it was going to be a 3D printed Metroplex, but apparently they're looking to get factory funding now. I was speaking with a factory, I was speaking with a company uh, about over a year ago actually, and they were talking about building a huge Metroplex at their factory. So maybe the, the two companies can uh, talk to one another and maybe we can get this one kind of mass produced. Because again, like a four foot tall Metroplex wouldn't really need a great deal of engineering for transformation. But it's just kind of that sheer bulk and size you need it to still hold together without being flippy floppy. But very much loving what we're doing with the Transformers fandom at the moment. We're getting some amazing pieces. Uh, fan stuff is being converted into like mass produced items and stuff. It's an incredible time to be a Transformers fan, especially when you love this kind of G1 aesthetic. Thanks again to ShowZ for making this review possible. I hope you found it useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share and subscribe. I've included a fans toys playlist at the end of this video and a link in the description below where this can be purchased. Now I've also included a second link. A friend of mine shared a link from a AliExpress store. They have informed me that it is a very trusted seller. Although this is the only item they are currently selling on their store. It's because it's a discounted rate. Personally, I think it could be another store uh, kind of just working around some of the fans toys restrictions But I know nothing so I have included that link in the description below It is a much China cheaper way of buying this figure and my goodness me is it worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean just look at him Ah, oh, I love me a crocodile Anyway until next time for myself and the rest of the collectibles household. Thank you very much for watching Goodbye